Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go a little bit back to the basics and we are going to talk about the really overarching, um, really great feature about this program which is the data library. So I kind of want to explore the data library, how to get the data library, how to look for data in the data library, and then for Mac specifically uh, show you where those files are on your computer if you just want to access those data files directly in you know, a CSV file perhaps. Before we get started, I want to let everyone know that I am using Jamovi version 2.0.0, came out a couple of months ago as far as time of recording here, and so I have all of the latest features in, uh, in this program, and we are going to explore that. I do, however, have a new installation on this particular computer, not, not the one that I have done some um, the latest tutorials um, recently, because um, you can see that I have nothing along here, so if you are an avid follower of my tutorials, you'll notice that I don't have anything up here, and that's because my Jamovi library is um, un really incompatible. So I'm going to do a separate uh, tutorial on updating this and uh, that sort of thing uh, later. So we don't have any of those things. So the data library is going to seem a little bit smaller. So let's jump in to how we get to the data library. So here's the splash screen. This is where everyone starts. I've got it situated to where it's full screen on this particular uh, computer monitor. And we're going to go up to the hamburger menu, to the basically the file menu, where you're going to find uh, files of things. You can see that down here you have a bunch of recent files. And these are some of the uh, recent files that are in many of my uh, previous tutorials, card up for those here. Um, but here you also find new, open, import, save, save as, and export. What we want to do is we want to go to open, right? Open. Click on that, and it'll bring up, oh, I need to allow it some access. Okay, we did that. Uh, we allowed it some access. Hooray! So how we find the data library is fairly simple. So by default, it'll go to this PC, and then it'll have the data library down here. Um, and so this PC is a bunch of random stuff. Um, a lot of uh, recent files do show up at the toward the bottom here. Um, this is in my downloads folder, so you can see a bunch of downloads that I have. And here are all these downloads that I've used in previous uh, previous um, uh, videos. But we want to go to the data library, and so here we have the data library. By default, now uh, the folks at Jamovi do, incl do include. Oop, I double clicked far too much. Uh, do include the learning with uh, learning statistics with Jamovi LSJ, as it is called, and so single click next time um, and these are all of the data sets used in that book now if you're not familiar with this book that's okay uh it is a great companion book for uh your courses if you plan to use um if you plan to use jamovi in your classes but for those of you who are just trying to learn jamovi go grab the textbook it's free open source and it's on jamovi's website you can download it right from their website oh, well it's a link to where you can download it but um it pre-installed when you download jamovi are all of these um are all of these these data these data files and they are in CSVs and the great thing about it is they've been coded for you so we've got green for descriptives we've got red for ANOVAs we've got an off shade of magenta I suppose for t tests uh, another green for confidence intervals because they're sort of part of descriptives I guess data manipulation so color coding all of these different um, data files and you'll see the same thing with our data sets as well so these are free data sets that people have contributed to the R library because remember Jamovi is uh, set up um, with R underneath the hood so these are ton of different ones. The only downside with our data sets is they are not categorized. So just by looking at them, it's kind of difficult to tell which ones might be useful. Sure, we have uh, discoveries here. We might have yearly numbers of important discoveries. Uh, you know, I, I don't really know what that means. We'd have to open it to see what kind of data is in there and what kind of stuff we can do with those data, uh, with those data, Jeez, with that data. <laughs> Uh, Euro cross uh, conversion rates of Euro currencies. So you might use cross tables for this because Euro dot cross, that might be a way to use cross tables. Um, but that's the downside of this. A lot of data files, but not a lot of insight as to how to use those data files unless you're aware of them or you, you found some tutorial that uses these data sets. So um, I, I, I will plan to use these data sets in the future for uh, for various kinds of tutorials I might update, you know, depending on how the program changes over the years, I might update my t-tests, my ANOVA tutorials and sort of bring them up a little bit, um, make them less out of date, I, I suppose. I know they're only about a year out of date, but kind of the YouTube thing is you got to keep updating it. If the program's going to be updated, then might as well update my tutorials. So I will use these uh, data sets in the future so that way everyone can figure them out and use them. And then finally, with the remaining sets of data, uh, we have the four here, which can be used. They, again, they are not um, categorized like the learning statistics with Jamovi. Um, so that is a, a part of the bummer. But as you start adding on the modules, if you go to this plus sign and add in modules, the great news is that more data library stuff will be added and um, because they'll be downloaded and put onto your computer um, physically. And so they won't appear here. They'll be, appear in um, other folders, which is kind of which is kind of nice to kind of click through those folders and um, get more uh, out of it. Um, but here we have four and they sort of 
tell you what you should do with them. So the big five, nice correlation data set, tooth growth and uninspiring ANOVA data set, bugs, a repeated measures, ANOVA data set, and then Anderson's iris data. And so the iris data set from R, uh, which I believe you would do regression. I'm not entirely sure 100%, but this is the data library just for Mac users, but show you exactly where to find this data. So I'm going to open a finder window. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find application applications. So I've got, I might as well just make this window bigger so you can see everything uh, make that, that big. So you can see I just updated Jamovi. Um, and what we want to do is we want to find Jamovi, which is starts with a J. So it's an alphabetical order. I mean, I have it set up alphabetical order, but you can do it any way you want to really. Find Jamovi and you want to right click on it or um, option left click, depending on what kind of mouse you have. Um, and you want to go to show package contents. Here's where you find the contents of the app. You know, this is the uh, Mac clean way, as we'll call it. And um, we want to expand contents. And then we also want to expand resources, uh, lib, and oh, this is the library and modules. But I do want to expand um, examples. Okay. This is where you find the bug docs. So here's the big five. Here's the bugs. Here's iris. And here's tooth, tooth growth. These are the CSV files. As you can see, CSV, 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 and CSV. So those are the four, uh, four examples that you see right here. Okay. But where's the learning, learning statistics and the R data sets? That's a good question. So how you find those. So how you find the R data sets is you go into your user. So that's my name there. And you go into your library and you go into application support. You find Jamovi right here. Okay. And you are going to look for the R data sets right here under modules. So you have modules here. You're going to look for R data sets. That's right here. And I'm going to expand that and then expand that data. So it's not in the same place as the other ones are. And we have air passengers, air quality. These are all the data sets, okay, for your life, to be fair. <laughs> so we can, so that's how you find those. And then, um, and the other one is learning statistics with Jamovi data. That's also an application support. Uh, expand that in data. And then you have AFI small finalists, AFI, you have all the CSVs here, okay? Although some of them are also in OMV files. I'm not entirely sure what OMV files are, um, but you have the CSV there. So uh, when we look at the, application and we go to open data library okay if you've got a folder here this is probably found in application support now i don't know exactly where the windows versions might be so maybe comment below if you know exactly where they are comment down below but that's how you do uh that's that's what the data library is all about in jamovi it's where you can find some data and mess around with it or you can use data that people ha use in their tutorials like me on youtube and you can follow along and get the same output and so that's one way to uh, learn together uh, if you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more tutorials on Jamovi as well as other psych-related content. Thank you for watching.